Our scripture reading for the, for the occasion is found in the second epistle of Paul to Timothy, chapter 2, verse 1 to 15. You, therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus, and the things that you have heard from me, among many witnesses, commit these to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. You, therefore, must endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No one engage in warfare and tangles himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who enlisted him as a soldier. And also, if anyone competes in athletics, he is not crowned unless he competes according to the rules. The hard-working farmer must be first to partake of the crops. Consider what I say, and may the Lord give you understanding in all things. Remember that Jesus Christ, out of the seed of David, was raised from the dead, according to my gospel, for which I suffer trouble as an evil doer, even to the point of, of chains. But the word of God is not chained. Therefore, I endure all things for the sake of the elect, that they also may obtain the salvation which is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. This is a faithful saying, for if we died with him, we shall also live with him. If we endure, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. If we are faithless, he remains faithful. He cannot deny himself. Remind them of these things, charging them before the Lord not to strive about the words to the prophet, to the wooing of the hearers. Study to present yourself approved to God, a worker who does not need to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. This is the word of the Lord, and all God's people say, Amen. Amen. It's my privilege to introduce our commencement speaker tonight, Dr. Ronald Jr. Ronald Jr. is a lifelong